This is Gadget at the techstop.net, the place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm Father Robert Balliser. I'm a Catholic priest in the Society of Jesus. That's the Jesuits, the largest religious order in the Catholic Church. And this week we're taking a look at a mini EPC for those looking for a specialty computer or companion to their HDTV. It's the eMachines ER1402-05. The eMachines ER1402-05 is a mini E set top PC designed to provide HD multimedia features in a compact package. At 11 inches high, 10 inches wide, and less than 2 inches thick, it's stylish enough to sit on top of your home theater, quiet enough to keep next to your easy chair, and small enough to fasten behind your TV. The first thing you'll notice about the ER1402 05, aside from the diamond styling, is its abundance of ports. On one side of the unit, you'll find ports for optical audio out, HDMI, power, USB 2.0, gigabit Ethernet, VGA, and a Kensington lock. On the other side, you'll find a multi-format memory card reader, two additional USB ports, and audio ports for microphone and headphones or speakers. The stand on the ER1402 is removable, and the unit can be laid flat, though the curved sides keep it from being flush. Removing the stand is useful for those who intend on strapping the computer behind their TV using some sort of CPU bracket, or buying the optional Acer mount. Inside the case, you'll find all the components tucked into an ingeniously designed package that minimizes wasted space while maximizing cooling. This layout is a key feature of the ER1402 since it keeps the unit small while allowing the hottest parts of the computer to be cooled by a single large heatsink and fan. This cooling unit is designed to pull away the heat generated by both the CPU and the GPU pushing hot air through an oversized vent that allows for near-silent operation. The ER1402-05 is powered by an AMD K125 Athlon 2 Neo processor, running at 1.7 GHz with 1 MB of L2 cache and a 1066 MHz frontside bus. It's a low-powered CPU designed to generate as little heat as possible while still running fast enough to support Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit edition. Complementing the CPU is 2 GB of 800 MHz DDR3 memory and a discrete NVIDIA GeForce 9200 GPU with 256 MB of shared memory. Storage comes in the form of a 160 GB 2.5-inch SATA hard drive. Though there is no integrated optical drive, you can add a USB unit and the storage is supplemented by a multi-format memory card reader. Networking options consist of an 802.11 BGN wireless radio on a removable mini PCI Express card and gigabit Ethernet. The PC comes with a 2.4 GHz wireless mouse and mid-size keyboard with a small USB dongle to enable their operation. Though we would have preferred an integrated Bluetooth solution, the keyboard and mouse were perfectly comfortable and worked without a hitch. Another odd design choice was the lack of a remote control. Though the keyboard and mouse work well, and it's easy enough to add an aftermarket remote that triggers Windows 7's media functions, a unit designed to complement an HDTV should have included an easy-to-use remote. The unit pulls between 13 and 25 watts while active and about 1.5 watts in standby. This makes the ER1402-05 an impressively power-efficient set-top, even more energy-frugal than most netbooks. Performance is above average for a mini EPC. In PC Mark Vantage, the ER1402-05 scored a high of 2063, above most mini EPCs. It was able to flawlessly play back DVDs as well as 720p and 1080p high definition files. Additionally, it could play most MPEG-4 formats completely stutter free. In streaming video, the performance of the ER1402 was a bit more mixed. It was able to play Hulu, Netflix, and even YouTube 1080p, though occasionally it seemed as if the quality would temporarily fall during busy scenes. We were also able to induce skipped frames by multitasking while playing high-definition files. Still, this seemed to be more of a problem with Adobe Flash than it was with the ER. Assuming that you're not trying to multitask while streaming, those who wish to use the ER1402-05 as a video complement to their HDTV should be satisfied with the performance. Aside from its multimedia capabilities, the ER1402-05 also performed quite well as a HDTV companion PC. Windows 7 runs smoothly and the ER handled web browsing, email, word processing, spreadsheets, and even some light video rendering. 
First-person shooters are out, but the occasional flash game or low-definition World of Warcraft session should be just fine. In all, the ER1402-05 is a solid option for those who want a device connected to their HDTV that combines the best features of a video-only box with the functions of a power-efficient PC. The ER1402-05 is available now with a one-year warranty. You can find it online for about $300. Okay, let's start with the negatives. First of all, I don't like the fact that it doesn't have 802.11a. It kind of baffles the mind with 802.11a being such a standard part of most 802.11 radios that it has B, G, and N, but not the less cluttered A spectrum. Also, the CPU and GPU are going to be overwhelmed rather quickly. You start running a couple of background programs, a few video streams, and you're going to hit the ceiling of what this hardware can do. Also, with the styling, you're going to run into dorsal cable clutter. You've got USB ports over here, HDMI and power and network down here, which means you're going to have cables sticking out at odd angles if you use all the ports. That's something you need to consider if you're planning on plugging in a lot of appliances. And finally, there is no integrated Bluetooth feature. There is no integrated mouse and keyboard, and there is no integrated remote. And I find that kind of strange coming out of a computer that seems to want to, do, to support an HDTV. Now on the other hand, there are a lot of things to really like about the ER1402-05. It's small and stylish. It can be held behind a CPU, remove the stand, or it couldn't just be on top of your home theater system as sort of the centerpiece of your entertainment hardware. It's also a multi-purpose computer, which means it's not a one-trick pony. You can use it as a probe and a network as easily as you use it as a streaming media entertainment system for your HDTV. In fact, if you look at our interop footage, you'll see that there are a lot of vendors that are using mini EPCs in strange places where you need relatively large amounts of power at a relatively small cost in a relatively energy efficient package. Also, there are ports of plenty. I mean, aside from the cable clutter problem, you're going to be able to find a port for everything you want to plug in. And finally, and perhaps most importantly, it's quiet. It's quiet, it's quiet, it's quiet. Which means that you can put it behind the TV, you can put it on top of your entertainment center, you can put it next to your easy chair, and it's not going to sound like a tornado in a box. And that's just good. All that being said, you have to understand that this is being positioned at a very specific market. If you just want to stream video to your TV, get a Roku or an Apple TV. If you want to do gaming on your HDTV, get a real desktop. And if you want something that can be transported from place to place and plugged into an HDTV, get a mid-sized notebook that has an HDMI port. No, where the strength of the ER1402-05 comes into play is the fact that it is such a small PC, that it is so energy efficient, and that it can do many different things. And if that's what you're looking for, then you owe it to yourself to check out the eMachines ER1402-05. If you want to find out more about this or any of the other eMachines mini EPCs, go to their website at www.emachines.com. If you want to find out what we've done with this unit, drop by our website at www.thetechstop.net. While you're there, check out our sponsors because they help us put on the show. And if you want to write me an email message, you can reach me at gadget at thetechstop.net. I'm Father Robert Balasare, reminding you that there's no Uber geek without you.